that that's key for us to thrive within the industry and, 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 how we're, and how we're doing that. And that's what I'm trying to document right now, documenting you guys having these meetings here. And, uh, and yeah, this is the uh, this is the documentary itself. It's called <laughs> that was a typo. It's called key framing. Well, so key framing. <laughs> not, 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 well, okay framing, but, but key framing because I'm thinking of I'm thinking of when when you're key framing a timeline and when you're editing on a video, you're key framing these important events and you can play back between the key frames. And so that's that's why I wanted to call it key framing. Thank you. <laughs> but, Thank you. but it's okay. It, it, and the documentary is called Keyframing. It covers how we as students got into the industry-related meetings and events, set up a system that helped us make fresh content on a weekly basis, and goes over the interviews and coverage we got at the industry-related events and meetings, and why it's important and essential that we got this information, and how we can use it to benefit ourselves and for future generation students. And it's, um, it can be used as a documentary to teach future media students about the process we went through to make it easier for them. And it's really leaving behind a template or, or, or just something to be looked at, to be analyzed, to be broken down, and to be um, imitated or, or, or reinvented even by future generation students. And so that's, that's what I'm hoping to accomplish with this documentary. There's a second email. And so, um, Oh, where is it? <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, no, no, you're good. good. And uh, so I'm consulting with Kevin Clark and my own professor on how we can make this kind of documentary happen. How can you make, how can you get the uh, backing, uh, the resources or the support needed from uh, other colleges or from your college itself, from the schools themselves into supporting this kind of documentary, which is giving back to, to future students. Because I, I completely understand that when you join a club that's this active as our own, there's so many opportunities coming up that people are gonna get shot off into the industry left and right. There's gonna be a high overturn rate. So how do you handle those kind of situations? How do you prepare students for those situations? And I think that this documentary is really about tackling just that. You got your five bullet points there, too. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, so thank you. So um, it's a student narrative documentary about how breaking into the industry requires hard work and information. And so we're documenting the hard work. So like this morning, I woke up at uh, 5 a.m. It's just capturing that moment, me waking up, talking to the camera about how I feel about today, what I'm going to be achieving, doing A, B, and C meetings. I'm, I was supposed to come, go straight there to CMD to do interviews for, for all of my club members, but they already have a camera there. So they still get to do that, but I had to switch tasks and I had to come here because this was another opportunity. And so I filmed myself just saying that to the camera. This is, this is me, and like, it's crazy all this stuff is happening. But this is how I'm going to keep task and make sure that both things are getting done still, but I'm still able to also document them. And, and it's showing through just that one little interaction, you're, sh it, you're showing not only how to, how to f deal with those kind of situations, but it's also showing you know, what it takes to, to really become successful in this industry. And it's, so it's turning what we capture into a, a series that can be dissected, and it's just there. It's just a series of documentaries of events or meetings that we cover, and then at the end, it's kind of just our our snippets of of why it's important, how you can build and grow from that. So um, that's the document I'm hoping to achieve. Keyframe. Wow, and yeah. can you talk about what we did last Friday? So last Friday was probably one of the most important and greatest meetings I've been a part of, um, and that was going over to LA County's uh, third district offices, uh, office, um, Sheila Cool's office, and meeting with her deputy, Patricia Castellanos. And um, it was being able to, to sit in on, on with, with her in a meeting and really discuss and just take in the various programs or initiatives that students are putting forth or companies are, are wanting to put forth to connect 
students to, to the industry, to train and to develop a new generation of media makers, immersive media makers, and to diversify things. And so being able to sit in on that meeting was um, not only important because of the roles we had to play, um, which was not as daunting as one would think, and it's to represent students, to, 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 rep to pioneer the path by, by sitting in on that meeting and just saying we were there and we represented the community college students who couldn't be here. But we're here to let you know that we are engaged, we are listening, and we, and we are trying to connect with you guys as well. And, and so being able to sit on that meeting and do just that was wonderful. And I want to continue having such meetings and going to such events with Kevin Clark and, and continue being that, that student presence, that student voice. And so this documentary is, is also well, hoping to use to build that foundation to allow for more events like that to occur uh, and to really create a network of students that can work together to make these kind of things happen. Right. And just to set it up, the, uh, the meeting that we went to, uh, vice president um, of this campus was there, and the regional director for uh, AT&T was there, and we had a couple of uh, LA Mission students and a couple of Santa Monica City College students. And the meeting was called to um, try and get a better understanding of what were the, um, the convergence of things that the corporations from AT&T that were there represented, and we had a gentleman from eight, uh, Apple on the phone um, to talk about um, specifically LA Mission College and maybe how this could be a pilot for us to get um, more momentum for getting the politicians and the stakeholders to um, open their minds to the possibilities that students could have a bigger play in how all these things um, were gonna be formulated. And the aftercare of the, uh, the meeting, we sent a letter to, um, to her, thanking her for taking the time, but she, she sent a letter back saying that she was happy to spend the time, but she was particularly interested in how and why I invited the students, because I didn't tell her I was bringing them. But it was a very positive thing at the end of the, the message. She said, I'm glad that you brought them, and I, want to I wanted to hear from them, and I want to hear more. So... Um, one of the things that I'm going to be doing is to try to be brave or courageous enough to always put students out there. And, you know, again, it's not to disrupt or to replace what the instructors and the administrators do to speak for you. But if I'm brave enough to put you out there, I'm looking for you guys to be brave enough to say, hey, this is me. This is who I am. This is what I represent. And that's what we're, what we're really looking for out of this presentation on June 1st, if you guys to break, um, break through and let people who are in the, uh, the audience know that, you know, again, you guys have... Um, A wonderful opportunity. Yeah, you guys have all the, the reasons to start to encourage other students like yourselves to start thinking about coming up with solutions, programs for yourselves. Not that they're going to ever be implemented, but that's what I'm thinking. We're trying to create a movement here. So, okay. Any questions uh, or suggestions or comments for Shoney moving forward? Okay, great.